Welcome back to Far Cry 6, everybody. Last episode, we did the mission Tricks of the Trade. We saved some hostages because we're the good guys. Last episode, we also started a mission for Lorenzo, but I didn't realize it was going to be a scavenger hunt. So today, I want to continue that, but I'm going to be a little bit more prepared now that I know what I'm actually getting into. Before we hop back into the action, please consider leaving a like and subscribing down below. But without wasting any more time, let's hop back into Yara. All right, so we left off right here outside of this church in the last episode with the hostage exchange. Now, we're going to be doing the mission The Seeds of Love. We have to find Lorenzo seven kids. You are very loud, Chicharron. There's a thing on top of the church, too, that I wanted to get, but honestly, I just don't have the patience to figure out how to climb up there, so we're not going to. So, like I said, I'm going to be using a little bit of external assistance just to find the general locations of where the children are, because like I said, Yara is a big place, brother. I don't want to know exactly where the people are, but for the sake of content, um, we're just going to speed up the process a little bit. If I was RPing this game like a super duper hardcore video gamer, I, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing, but like I said, content just want to make videos on what's going on so i have a crate marked which is in the general location of where the first person i'm trying to find is so we're going to go there i don't think i've even been to this part of the world i just kind of got told this thing was here by probably a hostage i rescued so let's go to the map okay no i was really confused for a second i thought it had marked already where i'm i marked but no so this is the general area of where we want to go uh, I don't have anything down here, though, so I will see you when we get relatively close to this. Actually, as it turns out, this is a lot closer to that thing that I traveled to than I thought it was. We're actually going to be able to get here in the air. That's pretty nifty, all things considered, so... There are multiple things up here. I'm just going to the marker that I put down. New photos, why? I think this is the one that we're currently at, but... Well, that sucks. I can't get to the crate. And there's a thing down there, so... Or... No, this is not the one we're at. Which one are we at? Maybe this one? No, it's this one. Is it that? A lot of questions. Is there a person here? No, there's not. I might have got slightly ahead of myself, because that is just a, like a tent, not even an actual thing. Maybe I jumped the gun. Maybe instead of going down, we were supposed to go up. Like, there is more stuff up here. I just didn't think... ...that that would be it. Huh. 
now that I'm up here, I also don't think we were supposed to come here, so... like the place with all the pottery in Lorenzo's Peak. Okay, I found it. It was just down the hill. I should ask her if she knows Felipe. Ah! I'm on fire. Ask... Oh, hi. I'm looking for Felipe. My husband is long gone. He, uh... Went to go fight with you guerrillas, but died in battle. You can go see his grave in the cemetery, but um, if you hear him, it's just his ghost. Okay. Interesting. And then it's pointing me over yonder. I actually thought I just went into that sign at full speed. That would have not been very good. I'm not here to recruit you to fight in the war, so cut the bullshit. I have a letter from your papa, Lorenzo Canseco. Oh? He's never admitted to being my father. He was too scared, so he hid in the mountains. Scared of you. See any parallels here, Felipe? You need a diagram? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not scared of anything. I'm a ghost. Spooky. I'm out. I actually did not know that he would be up here doing this. Here, I was coming to get that thing that was on my map, but... Fair enough, it made it easy for me. Alright, so that's Felipe. He's lying to get out of being recruited to fight in the war. Fair enough. So, like, even though the next place is, like, really close to where we just were, there's a mountain in between us. <laughs> so I'm gonna fast travel by means of my favorite way of traveling, swing suiting. And go to Santa Domingo. I've been here before for many, many reasons, and I don't remember why. There's a baseball field. There was a helicopter here at one point I had to destroy. Um, it's popping up. One of these buildings is the building I need to go to, so we will figure out which one when I land. Santo Domingo is also like a town that has its own marker and a name. That house looks familiar. Oh. Which house? Hold up. Somebody help! I'm trapped! Why do I feel like the guy shouting his lungs out is one of Lorenzo's children? All right, well, just finding the general city, I guess, is the hard part. Are you Tiago? What's going on? I am. Please help me. Get me out. The door is locked on this side. How do I get in? I can't reach the door. You'll have to break the lock on my side somehow. Binga. I'm not a magician. There's a window on the other side of my apartment. <gasps> Maybe you can hit the lock through there. You know what, dude? Maybe. That's a good idea. I'm not gonna ask you how you got tied up, even though I'm sure you'll probably end up telling us anyway. Danny. That was really good. I don't know how you got up there. 
What a wonderful shot. Thanks, brother. Appreciate the gaze. Quick, untie me. I have a letter for you, Tiago. It's from Lorenzo Canseco. <sighs> Mi papa. You know that he's to blame for all this? He's the one who gave me a predisposition for too many lovers. I want to be monogamous, but I can't. I can't. Whenever a woman gets too close or says the words, I love you, I run to another woman. Then I know there and I know there. I am tortured by my father's curse of never settling down. Those don't sound like problems. Just that you're kind of an asshole. <laughs> Do me? Valid. All right, that's two of, uh, two of seven down. Typical kid blaming their parents for their problems. Alright, so the next place we're going to is somewhere in this grayed out area. I don't know exactly where. I guess we'll just go here and airdrop in per usual. Like I said, I'm trying my best to just get general locations on where to go and to not like go to the exact spot, but I have a feeling that this general location doesn't have a lot of stuff to look through, so <laughs> if I happen to find it immediately, I apologize. I am going way off course. We are also about to land on the side of this here mountain, valid. Okay. Please don't be Faith Seed from Far Cry 5. That was my least favorite part of that game. Hey, drink. I'm looking for Riel. Oh, you have to try all of her homeopathic products first. It will restore your faith. These homeopathic restore my will faith. change your life. Smell them. Uh, I don't like that line. We're here one time. One life. Breathe in Riel. Her flowers hmm. have changed my world. Nobody's here. I was depressed about Maybe being I trapped find by something in the workshop. Now, look at me. I have faith in life. Faith. Okay. I get I get the I, I get it. Alright, where where's the drug? Bliss. Fantastic. Hmm. Something is coming. You can feel it, can't you? That we are creeping toward the end. And there will be a reckoning. Alright, let's follow the faith wannabe. I spent years searching. I was a rat in a maze. All I'm moving too fast for the dialogue. Freedom, take our faith. Faith. Yeah, I get it. We will not let their greed or their immorality or their depravity hurt us anymore. Their ability must be exposed, so it may be absorbed. You must be dizzy. So many roads to choose, what to believe, who to help first. Riel. You see, they've come for me. They've come to take me away from you. They've come to destroy all that we've built. We knew this moment would come. We have prepared for it. Go. I have a letter for you. It's from Lorenzo Canseco. The father. Your real father. Despite all that you have done, you are not beyond salvation. You are not here by accident or by chance. Please stop. Thank you for this letter. You're welcome. Everything is unfolding according to God's plan. I am still here with you. The first seal has been broken. Okay, I'm out. I'm not playing this game. I'm not playing that game either. Honestly, kind of a good thing, because the way that that game ended... Far Cry 5, cough, cough... Uh, Far Cry 5's endings were really stupid. I'm not going to spoil them, but they were really dumb. Also, she made me walk in a circle to come back to where I was already at. Whatever. Fantastic. 
cool little Easter egg, I guess, for the Far Cry 5 fans out there. I, I enjoyed, like, maybe 60% of Far Cry 5. Like I've hinted at in this little section here. And I think they're kind of taking the piss at it in the developing side of this a little bit, too. Faith Seed was probably by far the least liked boss out of probably any Far Cry that isn't primal, because that game sucked in general, so... At least they're aware that that boss wasn't liked. And from what I just read, the next place we have to go is really close, all things considered. I mean, like, it's in the same realm that we're in right now with all the farmland, so these guys are technically neighbors by association. I guess this is the drug that they use to make the, the drug that no one likes. I don't know, that, that says military zone. <laughs> I think, at least. Maybe I'm dumb. Anyway, we have to go somewhere over here, so... I'm not gonna make you run the 500 meters with me, I'll see you when we get there. Oh, this general location is basically just taking me to a house, so whoever's here is, is the person. Fair enough, whatever. What's with that bird? Maybe one of these people can point me to one. Thanks, Danny. That's... Sanida. Incredible. I think I just picked up a key. Is one here? Our abilities, because two yards <laughs> the condition to see my vision. To rebuild paradise. Oh yeah, Juan. Everything okay? See? They flooded my fields. It's all ruined. My wife left me. My life is worthless. So Yeah, I have a letter from your father, Lorenzo Canseco. Of course, that bastard is reaching out now. Even if he wants money from me, I have nothing. You ever work on something your whole life and watch it get destroyed? Don't get old. You watch your friends die. You're all alone. I look back now on all the wrong choices I've made. Every single one. All I want is to drink as much rum as I can. And cry. And die. But hey... I got a letter. Coño, that's... So I'm gonna go. Maybe you should get some help, I say. Help? What help? I've got Lorenzo's letter, right? Right? Damn. Uh, good, good luck with that. Um, your dad's apologizing. If that... I, okay. Alright, so the next thing has pointed me in the general direction of Nueva Vida. I have never been here. I could just run up through that. I don't think I want to do that, though. I think it would make more tactical sense to airdrop in, as I've been doing. Even though we're still probably going to be a few hundred meters away by the time I finish, but... I mean, what's the worst that can happen? 1,300 meters yonder, and I did a complete 360 to even get going this direction. <laughs> So we're probably gonna be a little short. Maybe. I probably overestimate or underestimate that a lot. Honestly, if I don't even try to go down, I might overshoot this for Those some reason. Could, use some support. could they? That sucks. I'm sure they'll be fine. That's not this episode. We're not getting distracted today. Yeah, we're way up. We're way higher than normal. I don't know if the bigger fast travel places just spawn you higher in the wingsuits or what, but... Yeah, we gotta go down. We're gonna overshoot. The only reason I'm stopping here as opposed to over there is because there's nothing on my marker. So I'm assuming it's in this little village. I'm also noticing the trend that everywhere I go there are these boxes and I'm willing to bet that the person we probably want to talk to is by that box. Like someone pissed off you so you That's the house with the shed in Lorenzo's peak. Yep, I have put myself on fire. Oh no, they took out Chicharron. These guys must be like elite. What the fuck just happened? Was that my stick drift ta taking action? 
Either I just got hella stick drift or I'm tracking an enemy on the other side of the fucking river. Oh, I have to do that. Uh, it's directing me to the boat. I I'm not that interested in it, dude, honestly. Actually, you know what? I lied. I might be. What's going on, Gutty? Buddy? Guy, buddy? Hola. I have a letter for you from Lorenzo Canseco, your father. He's sorry, I think. A letter from... For years, he denied being my father. Now he's apologizing to me. My soul, my brain, my heart is filled with a father's love. And yet, also a deep confusion. Abandonment. Disgust. The flood of emotions has turned into inspiration. Be sure to put that in your heart. Might get you in less trouble. I'm just now starting to notice that all of his kids have the same thing, the same giant mole on their foreheads. We're only on the fifth kid. You know what, dude, I'm curious. It's directing me out here. I'm assuming the boat is where it wants me to go. Well, I think I got pranked. There's no more boat. Oh, wait, there's another arrow over here. Maybe this is where we needed to go. In theory, at least. All right, follow the signs. This way now? This would probably be way easier if I just got in a boat or something, but since when do we do easy? I am going to go along the shoreline and assume it wants us to go to the other white shack that looks like the one we just went to. If that's not the case, I'm going to be a little upset, but... And there it is. Now, can I just go back to the place we just came from? Yes, I can. Alright, let's go get this treasure, then we'll continue on. I would be very let down if this treasure is stupid. So I'm kind of hoping that it's not stupid. Oh, okay. We got a level 4 piece of armor. Cool. I'll look at that later. What is this place? I don't remember this place. But the next person is, like, somewhere in this forest, so... Now, when I say somewhere in this forest, like, can there even be... Okay, no, there are houses along this road. Fair enough. Beat your own got got by something. It'll be fine. We just gotta keep on trucking. Wouldn't happen to be any of you guys, would it? No, but I will gladly take all your stuff. Oh, my bad. My bad talk. Uh, okay, if I zoom in more, there's some places down here. That's a cave. This is where I'm at right now, so... It seems to be a lot of farmers. I'm willing to bet it's the farm, but where is that? It's over there? Okay. It has to be this place. There's nothing else around here. That's the house by the river. That dog seems to know us up. Hola, doggy. Do you know what a Maricela is? Who's a good dog? Who's a good perito? You leading me to Maricela? All right. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm here. Keep going, bro. We're, we're chilling. You're making this a little bit too idiot-proof. I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm right beside you. Keep going. You're making this worse than dog meat and Fallout 4 tracking Kellogg. Maricela? Yes? We don't want any trouble, Guerrilla. We're kind of in the middle of something. That envelope for me? Maricela, this letter is for you. It's from Lorenzo Canseco. I bet he's finally admitting that he's my father. Wait. Lorenzo's you... your father too? Oh Turn away no. from me. Are, Are we related? related? I don't feel so good. Oh. I think we need a moment. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go. Okay, <laughs> good luck. Good luck with that. Good good luck with that. Cool dog. Um, alright, so the next place we have to go is this town, but I'm not allowed to travel here for some reason. I'm allowed to go here though. That's very Interesting. Am I not, why am I not allowed to fast travel to the town? I mean, meh, whatever. Oh, this is the town where we had the, uh... Dude, the faction. I can't remember the name of the faction. The second faction we did all the work for. They were like a bunch of college kids. I, I'm, a, I'm stupid. I can't remember their... I can't remember the faction name. But this is the town it wants us to go to. Are they still celebrating the victory from so long ago? I think they are. Hey, right, let's do some snooping and see if we can find the place we're near. Bro, if they're still celebrating, they have been celebrating this for well over... Well over a year. That 
That's the same cool graffiti from the pic Lorenzo gave me. Maybe I can find the artist by following the graffiti. Danny, that's impressive considering I was looking away from that. Okay, so it turns out that was completely irrelevant to what I was looking for. Is it this graffiti? Is that what it means? Can I see another one from here? Conveniently, there's a person next to this one. Here is a letter from Lorenzo Conseco. I always knew the old man would reach out to me one day. Is he dying? No, I mean, I don't think so. Well, I guess we are all dying in some form or another. Am I right? Cool. You enjoy that letter. This was the most unfriendly encounter of them all. That's all seven, though. Now I'm assuming we call Lorenzo. Or no? Is that just the end of it? Lorenzo! I just dropped off the last of your apology letters. Gracias, Danny. Maybe now some of my children can have closure. Or at least a better understanding of my failures as a father. Some might, some won't. That's their right. Whether they accept my apologies now, or when I have joined the spirits, what is most important is that they know I am sorry about all the pain I caused. So, we cool here, Lorenzo? I have slept with thousands of women and fathered hundreds. We're just getting started, Danny. Oh, please don't say that. Delivering all these letters wasn't easy. I have other shit to do. I understand. When we met, I was a fool lost in the clouds. But you showed me the truth, Danny. Cool. You helped me reckon with a lifetime of mistakes and helped me make amends. Great. Gotta go. You reinvigorated my soul, reminded me Dang of what it was. And for all this, all I can pay you back with is some advice. Just hang up, Danny. Am I muted or something? I am a man who used women. I sparked a revolution. Just hang up, Danny. It failed to revolutionize my mind. Those are the old ways. End the patriarchy. Destroy it, Danny. I hear you, Lorenzo. Gracias, Danny. Damn, dude. I told you Lorenzo likes to hear himself talk. That is going to be the end of this episode, though. That was The Seeds of Love, I think is the name of that quest. Even with the help from the guide that I found and just finding general locations, that still took a really long time for me. But with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like down below and subscribe like I mentioned in the intro. Hope you guys have a great day after the end. I'll talk to you whenever the next video may be. Boys and girls, a pizza.